right now, boys and girls. We want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. It's Radio BAM, fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now... And now... Here's BAM. Here's BAM. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Drinking a beer, then washing it down. I think one time I spilled a beer on my mother. Thank God I had another in the other. <laughs> Shipbird, Shickers, Phantom Band Down and Ding Ding Blues, Chad Ginsburg, Missy. We actually just made it back in the nick of time because we, for Christmas, I got an RV that has been sitting in the driveway for about five months that has not even been turned on or driven or used, but... Uh, Fana finally got the courage to start it up and take it on a road trip to Albany. Hell yeah. And uh, let me just say that first off, I thought that I brought everything that I wanted. I didn't bring anything. <laughs> we forgot blankets. We forgot firewood. We forgot the fire starter kit. We forgot the fucking keys to turn open the gas cap so we could get gas. <laughs> Luckily, though, it cost five hundred dollars to fill the thing up. But I was just gonna ask you how much but that. We we made it. How many eight hundred miles? No, we went twelve hundred miles with total. with not even getting gas. Oh, that's nice. So I mean, it is expensive to fill, but once you fill it, you don't have to stop for a long ass time. It's like a four hundred one k plan. For, just fill it right. There. You could basically make it from. Philadelphia to Chicago without stopping to get gas, which is pretty insane. That's nice. Made it Milwaukee. <laughs> Shut up, shit That's bird. That's like almost as good as my truck. <laughs> Fucking look at look at Hannah's got a whole bowl full of meatballs over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we stopped at Delco on the way back so I could hit up FedEx to send my passport because I'm doing the gumball Delco. from uh, North Korea to China. And the first thing we heard. <laughs> These two dudes walking by. <laughs> Yo, man, I fucked this old bitch with no gym hat. I was all fucked up. <laughs> I almost creamed in my jeans before I... <laughs> <laughs> Jim hat. Good thing I had that Jimmy hat on. I was cream my jeans. Yo, man, I fucked this old bitch, man. I was all fucked up. I had no Jim hat on or nothing. <laughs> Jim hat. Oh, Jim man. Yo, man, that bitch said I leak your ass, man. I don't got no leak your ass. <laughs> oh! That's gonna be funny as shit. Oh! Anthony and the bagger just showed up. Hey, what up, man? What? We'll put you guys on after we uh, talk about this road trip. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. handsome. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So we we drove all the way up to Albany for Seth's wedding, and uh, I must say that Fan is the only person that I've ever met in my life that has managed to clog a rest stop toilet. <laughs> They're invented to, for like a thousand shits to be taken a day oh, by yeah. big fat truckers, and you <laughs> managed to clog one. I had to fucking push it out, man. What do you want? <laughs> Yeah, but they have like power flushers, like they're extra hard. Yeah. And there's a guy next to him, and the toilet started overflowing. And, <laughs> and the guy actually lifted his feet up. I could see his like <laughs> Timberland boots. He's just like, oh man, come on! <laughs> <laughs> fucking had his shit and piss all running yeah, all I'm over. Walk, I'm walking out. Uh, I, I like chocolate. <laughs> I like fudge. I'll make some now, or I won't budge. Dude, Hannah, do you remember when we we went? down to Virginia and CKY played on the beach and we were heading back and we stopped at a Popeyes and I opened the bathroom door I was like I got a shit so bad we got to pull over and somebody crapped on the back of the lid and it slid down the lid in the tour bus no this is like at a Popeyes oh. chicken place and it hit the bowl and then fell over like a tree I thought was, that was you I, I let you think that because oh. I walked out like, oh my god, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and Hannah walks in, he's like, Jesus Christ, dude, what the fuck? I thought you scraped your turret on the back of the seat. <laughs> it slid all the way down, like, it was horrible. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in a band. So on the RV road trip, we uh, made a pit stop at the Grand Canyon of PA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the yeah, Grand Canyon yeah. of Pennsylvania is like such a letdown compared to like the real Grand Canyon. It's like, it's like seriously, all it is quarry. is like a mediocre valley. <laughs> it's a quarry. It was fun driving there, but we uh we what do we look up in in the uh, the, the navigation that you have? Uh, that we looked up a oh, where to go. 
No, for camping. Yeah, yeah, the camping spot. Yeah, oh. usually, like, the wise thing to do is to camp out in a state park. We went to this... A rest ra- stop? We <laughs> went to a fucking trailer park. Like, <laughs> like it, it was an official trailer park, and it was, like, midnights, and we didn't feel like driving anymore. Midnight's. And, dude, it was straight out of, like, deliverance. It, <laughs> as soon as we pulled in, it was all these rusty-ass trailer parks that you could tell have been there for at least a year. <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> they all come out of their trailers at midnight, and they're just staring at us. Like, like it, it was like a community. It wasn't for <laughs> paying for the night. Yeah, it was like there one like night. a monthly payment is is like starters. You uh, know, like did they know it was you? Or no, hell no. You had to pay a lot. No, right? they could only see me. I was in the front seat. Everybody else. Was <laughs> you were the only one who's, the rest who's of us mobile. Were hiding. I was a little <laughs> creeped out though, because. Man, our our shit is fucking golden RV yeah, compared right. to them rusty ass things. That's probably why they were staring. I had the three point turd in one of their front lawns. <laughs> yeah, the three prob- point turd. You probably yeah. had the only uh, house that was really mobile in there. All the rest of them had flat tires. Yeah, I think a seven year old with cake all over his face came out and stared at us too. <laughs> <laughs> he done gone woke up the whole neighborhood. Now get, 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 get diapers. Get, yeah, you need to get. You done gone woke up in the whole neighborhood. Shit, now y'all, get. Y'all drinking Yingling shit. We only got Pat Blue Ribbon up here. Da, 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 thing. <laughs> I feel like we would have got sliced and diced if we would have stayed there. Definitely. Probably. I'm scary. glad we left. So the Grand Canyon was a letdown? Or? No. Well, it was, it was cool looking, but... I mean, it's just a fucking a two mountains. I mean, <laughs> it's a few mountains. It, it looks pretty cool, but if, if you're going to drive more than two hours, I wouldn't bother. No. It would be better At in the fall. At least not until fall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. with the leaves. <laughs> and then the when we, <laughs> in the morning when we actually found a mediocre place to camp out, <laughs> Hannah wakes up and he starts to RV up and I'm just like... Yo, Fanta, Phil's on the phone. He has a few questions because he's he's on his way up to go to Albany for the wedding. Can you talk to him? And he's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, so he comes walking back. He opens up the door where me and Missy were sleeping in the bed. <laughs> I'm full-blown holding on the two cabinets naked. Oh, shit. I'm banging Missy out these style like this <laughs> in real life. And <laughs> he just opens up the door and he's just like... Jesus. <laughs> I was like, Missy, what's the most vulgar position ever? Like, just full blown, like, holding on to two cabinets. Like, yeah, this, that's like the that. one right that there. That was it. Well, the cabinets were above the bed. You yeah. have to picture this. So yeah, he was he's standing dangling on from the cabinets above the bed. That's what oh, the handles awesome. are for, right? Pretty much. That's awesome. <laughs> what, did, what did you think when you first. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even laugh for anything. All well, I, I said just, is, I just Jesus. Woke up, yeah. I just woke up and started the things. We had somewhere to go. <laughs> uh, we, had, uh, we had somewhere to go, so I was like, let's get the hell out of here. Being, being <laughs> Co- you open up a door thinking that you're going to answer a phone, and it's yeah. just that. <laughs> I thought it would be all bright and sunny in there, and like, all right, let's get ready to go. You guys are all laying there, but no. <laughs> like, we were not hiding anything. No. The only thing better would have been fucking the wrong way. <laughs> just full-blown balls slapping did, a ball. The funny yeah. part was, did you stop, and everybody froze, and then big eyes just looked at each other? No, he kept going. Did he? All right, that's cool. <laughs> because I was laughing. <laughs> but he couldn't see me, so he just sees like, my naked ass back and ass just going like this. Just bouncing. And, and the, the whole RV was bouncing the whole way I'm walking back. back Did you film it? Actually, he didn't even finish. It was all for the joke. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm cool. Yeah. Alright, 11 pumps in, I'm done. Yeah, the door opened, I'm good. <laughs> Smoke mm-hmm. a cigarette. <laughs> then, then at the wedding, there's that... that Let's just say overweight girl who just wanted to suck your dick so bad that she would not leave you alone for two ass days. Oh my god. Why didn't you just do it? So how was it? I didn't do it. Why didn't you do it? She could have looked at your beanbag, dude. Close your eyes. No way, man. I was not into that. She was annoying and she was not cute. Yeah, she sucked. She sucks, see? So you did hook up. Yeah. <laughs> did you? Good one, wow. He's just not going to say Dude, she blatantly, fi- the second day, she she was trying all day for two days, she finally was just like, will you just go fuck me in the woods? <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, I was like, no. <laughs> you should have told her, no. yeah, and let her go out first, and then just go party. <laughs> well, can- There's so many places at, at yeah. Seth's house, there's all these like hidden castle spots. You could have went up into the yeah, back the, of the castle yeah, and banged her out. Castle. Nobody would have known her. I, I never all. told anybody. What about the sauna? Now? Just put on two gym hats. Could have went in the, the sauna gym. area. <laughs> two gym hats. How about how Phantom missed dinner completely at the wedding? He took an hour break to go do something. We don't know what he was doing. He went to go do weed with some 17-year-old punk. <laughs> and he missed, he missed the entire dinner. Yeah, aren't you proud of me? Filet and chicken. All sorts of good stuff. You missed filet, dude. Yeah, are you proud of me? <laughs> 
Hey. You didn't mean to mess it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> You, did, you missed a delicious filet for grass. Yeah, but I didn't miss that. <laughs> grass with a 17-year-old punk. <laughs> he wasn't a punk. He was nice. I'm just kidding. He had perfect teeth, too. <laughs> and the worst part was, I knew that Selena's brother would be there, but I didn't know that he'd be sitting right next to me during the dinner. And this is what this is how I, was, I met uh, Selena's brother. The first time her and Seth were hanging out in Los Angeles, we went to this place called like Moscow, I think, and it was like a line to get in. And I had like 10 people with me, and I just go to the bouncer. I'm like, yeah, all these 10 people were with me, but the guy in the back with the yellow shirt, he's way too wasted, and I don't know who he is. Make sure he does not come in. And I think I'm doing Seth a favor because I thought this dude was hitting on Selena. Yeah. I had no clue that it was her brother. So, like, <laughs> not only did he was he not allowed into the club, and he's wondering why, and they're just like, you're just not allowed to come in, and that's the end of the story. <laughs> and I'm like, and I tell Seth, I'm like, yeah, man, I, I, got, I got that creep out of there for you. He's like, no, he's not a creep. That's Selena's brother. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. I thought I was helping you out. <laughs> then the worst part about it is he couldn't get in, so he walked down the street alone to try to catch a cab, and he wound up getting fucking mugged. Yeah, he got mugged. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we wound up making friends, and he said to come and chill with him at Martha's Vineyard. So Martha's yeah. Vineyard? We might, we might have to do that. Yeah, that's so Martha's funny. Martha's fucking vineyard. He lives there. Oh, he lives there. How did he get mugged? Did he get, like, mugged nicely, or was it? They took his wallet. But How do you get mugged nicely? It's like, it's like <laughs> look, man, please, just without give me the money, dude. Kicked. Like, this, this, yo, like, man, I'm gonna half punch you if you don't give me your wallet. Yeah. Like, how do you get half like <laughs> mediocre money? Well, they didn't kill him. They just took his wallet. Yeah, like, that's it, what you meant. They, they could pretty much just say, look, don't make this hard. Just give me the fucking money. Fam yeah. always, fam always says to me, "Don't make this rape a murder." Yeah, don't, don't let this rape turn into a murder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Don't let, this rape, don't let this rape turn into a murder. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's her, like, it's her fault. Like, it's, the whole thing's her fault. That's terrible. Bam totally blacked out the first night that we got there, and the, he said to me in the car on the way home, girls with brown hair and hoop earrings like to get punched in the face. And I was like, what are you talking about? If you punch me, I'm throwing you out of this car. I swear to God. <laughs> girls with hoops like to get punched in the face. Girls with brown hair and hoops need to get punched. Brunettes with hoops need to get punched right in the face. <laughs> well, didn't I, I didn't I mediocre tap you? He mediocre tapped me, but so you just took the, just took the earrings out and everything was fine. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> Big hoops are hot. <laughs> well, then why did you want to punch me? In the eighties, I was tr in, no, I like it all the time. Just like how we were talking about belly shirts. You said that they're all out of style. Pff, me and Hannah like them. Belly yeah, shirts are so, so out of style. If you have a hot-ass belly, who wouldn't want to look at it? It's a belly <laughs> shirt. Like a what, they, shirt. what do you call it? A half shirt? Like a, yeah, like yeah. a midriff shirt. A midriff girls. shirt. That's yeah. what Vern wears these days. <laughs> yeah. I still have one from the 70s. The only girls yeah. that would be wearing midriff shirts are not the kind of bodies though. that you'd McGregor? want to see in one. Like the lady we saw today in New Hope with that big, fat belly. Yeah, but we're talking yeah, about... Yeah, but that's a minging-ass... 60 year old lady who's been on, probably on crack for several years. Well, those are the only people still wearing belly shirts. Yeah, well, if she was sexy, then Do it would have been hot. And tails, too. Yeah. And it's funny because Matt and I go to uh, the People Watch a lot. Oh, yeah, People Watching, dude. We Matt and I People Watch a lot, actually, and, like a couple times. You know, we were recently in um, uh, Inner Harbor, and before that, we were in Atlantic City, and we just sit on the boardwalk or we sit. And like on a table outside. If it's Wildwood, watch wood. these people. Is it Wildwood? I have uh, pictures of them. Seaside it gets Heights. Funny. Oh man, it's Seaside awesome. Heights. Dude, but, people yeah, look like and, and shit. And it's funny because the fattest people end up wearing spandex and midriffs. I don't understand it. Like, if you have a minging ass sloppy belly, why would you want to show it to everybody? Like, how do you not know that that's not cool to do? Well, I guess uh, I'm just not uncomfortable with my. Sh oh, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't talking about me. Now, pe like, I can only imagine what people from other countries think of Americans because those sloppy motherfuckers go over there wearing their purple spandex with their camel toes sticking out, and you can see their 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 maxi Hoopa. their maxi pads split in half Ugh. by their stupid fucking. <laughs> uh, and, and they go over there with their dumb fun savers, and they go, "Oh, we're in Germany. Oh, this is great." And Germans are probably like, "What the fuck?" You know, like, dude, they, they gotta. They gotta hate us. My fucking bus driver, Mrs. R. <laughs> you remember? Her? Dude, she used to wear these minging ass oh. tan spandex. She looked like she was walking around naked, oh. dude. It was disgusting. Is that where Boof's outfit and Ming came from? <laughs> yeah. No. Because if you see some, like, 
like hefty lady with tan spandex on, if they're any more than 40 feet away, you're like, ew, she's fucking naked! <laughs> she has her pants off! <laughs> oh, wait, they're spandex, but still, ew. <laughs> what? Speaking like, it's just a pure visual. <laughs> if you just got, like, a black Sharpie and put a little bit of hair on the pussy yeah. and a butt crack, dude, it would be <laughs> fucking sick. <laughs> Uh, Ew, man. Uh, Problems. Dude, uh, you, ever, you ever see when, when like, somebody's legs are rubbing together and it turns their pants white in between their legs? <laughs> Ew. I'm like, that's the grossest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not on oh, mic, Jen. Oh, man. Fucking, there was this humongous fat guy, dude. And he had, like, you could see he was, he pulled his pants all the way up to his tits. Yeah. And, it, and both nuts were on either side. I was jealous yeah. because I mean he had huge nuts, but it, <laughs> it was like it was the grossest fucking thing I've ever seen. People rock this shit all over the place. Why would you be jealous about huge nuts? <laughs> you can't even do anything with them. <laughs> I had it down below. <laughs> Dude, man, that guy's some big balls. I'm jealous. <laughs> like who cares? <laughs> if anything, they're just in the way. I know. <laughs> Holds a lot of cum. <laughs> Come fuck it. All right, I'm going to play a song, and then we're going to talk to Anthony and the Bagger. Fuck yeah. So uh, track, this man. is Bagger. the Kooks track four. It's called Do You Wanna? Radio Bam, Series 28 Faction. Yeah. And now back to Radio Bam. Dang. On. How the fuck you say it? Is it serious? Yeah. <laughs> On Serious 28 <laughs> Faction. All right, Anthony and Mark the Bagger just came in. And Mark... Or the Bagger the Movie is officially out now. Where can you get it at? Uh, www.baggerthemovie.com. I don't think and you have to write the it w is funny. Anymore. And it is funny. You don't have to do the www anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Baggerthemovie.com. Yeah. <laughs> what are you sipping on over there, Bagger? <laughs> <laughs> Your mic's back. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Bush beer. Is it a tall boy? Yeah. You almost yeah. done it? No. Why not? I don't know. What kind of shirt you rocking? A Hawaiian shirt. Hell yeah. <laughs> How come? It's Hawaiian month at work. <laughs> it's Hawaiian month. It's Hawaiian month? It's Hawaiian month? Yeah. Does that mean everybody wears Hawaiian shirts? And oh, stuff yeah. Like? Do you have fans coming it's in fun. to visit you these days? Oh, yeah. <laughs> D does the work get pissed off? No. They don't? Nah. Really? You figure they would be in your... Because they used to get mad when Phil was at the grocery store and he would... Kids would come up to see him and want autographs, and it was ruining the flow of his bacon bread. <laughs> 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 so they get all pissed. Mark has been making a habit of uh, bringing a ton of DVDs into his work and putting them in his work locker. And like he's like a crackhead. Every five minutes, he goes in the back, you know, to, to sell them to all the ice cream vendors and shit. Yeah. And all the people that come in. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Nice Baggerthemovie.com. It is funny. I want to watch it after this, actually. Mark, what's on this? I jerk off the uh, red wings in football, <laughs> hockey. I dance a hot, well, dance with hot chicks. There's a lot more than that. Do you wind up getting laid? No. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. Almost getting laid? No. Does anybody? Does anybody S your D? No. Do you finger anybody? No. French anybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold hands with anybody? No. Then what good is it, right? Who the hell wants to see that? Yeah. How about a massage? No. <laughs> so what are you doing on it? Uh, everything and everything. Every, not everything. Everything yeah. and everything? How about getting to a jacuzzi with some chicks? No. It's sev <laughs> 71 minutes of footage here. What are you doing this 71 minutes of footage? You already said Oh, you'll see it. Yeah. How about pound the puss or slap the tush? No. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's funny because uh, I just pretty much, we just followed Mark around the last, I don't know, year and, and just got a ton of footage and some of the shit was just too good not, not to... Do you got him singing the uh, the Billy Joel stuff on there? Uh, <laughs> no, we couldn't do that shit. Is there a lot of bonus features? Uh, no, nah, it's just pretty much straight through, like 71 minutes long, so it's, you know, I, I don't know if anyone else would be able to take any bonus features. What could you bonus feature anyway after that's 71 minutes of that? <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. That's Karaoke? Yeah, that's true. Nice. Yeah, we got a lot of other shit planned. Are we able to do any karaoke, Chad? Uh, yeah, if I have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck it. I mean, hey, why not? Yeah. Baggers and I just gotta do karaoke. Uh, what do you usually sing? Uh, Journey. 
<laughs> did you know Journey is coming ago. to yeah, Philadelphia for a concert on August 26th? Well, let's go. They're trying. I want to go. Do you want to come? Yeah, I'm sure. Probably doesn't have Steve Perry, though. Sure, let's go. You and I on a date. Why wouldn't it have Steve Perry? Because he... I don't know. I it's remember. It's a guy that looks just like him. He didn't want it. Exactly no, like it's him. not him, though. That's, so that's the reason. Oh, well, that, that, yeah, that yeah, sucks. Yeah. Some other dude. Oh. I'd rather see Bagger up there singing. Yeah, me too. Fuck right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we get, you know what? I want to hear it again. Can we get that Journey song? <laughs> What's it called? Yeah, don't, um, don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if the I The Billy Joel one was good, have. too. That's one of his personal favorites. I don't have Lighter. We need a lighter. We'll Let get it, it in a minute. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> thanks for having us down again, Bam. Yeah, man. See you guys in a while, man. I know. We... We were up in uh, Albany for a little bit. Five day, five day road trip. That was that. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah. Bagger karaoke sesh. <laughs> no. You know any Def Leppard? No. You don't know any Def Leppard? No poison. Which one? Oh, talk um, dirty to me. Every rose has its own. Yes. What? Yeah, you should have a karaoke in the bar as <laughs> well. Yeah. I, like, I think it should be noted that Mark just sang that with no words or lyrics in front of him. Like, he knew all that. Oh, he's like, got a dial. Yeah, you can tell That's a little impressive. bit. That's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Does he sing that on baggerthemovie.com? No. No, not that. He sings it not on Radio that. Bam. Sing Radio Bam Series 28 Faction. <laughs> hey, Bam, I have a question for you. What is it? Why are you getting out your act together for this uh, new bar? Uh, well, there's been problems with the liquor license, but now they they actually go, the liquor license is yours, but you can't get it until August 28th. I'm like, well, why then? They're just like, that's just when you can get it. Like, right. they're basically saying it's yours, but you can't you get wait. it. You gotta wait. To like, why? Like, like, it's just money. them making up new rules. <laughs> now, what about you know? Big Hacks? That's that's done. Um, Mike Nutt's doing the DVD titles. So nice. now we just have to print it up. When do you think that's going to come out? Um, I guess maybe Christmas? two months or something. Now nah, I, I think it'll fall. be... Fall. Yeah. Before? Fall. Yeah. Make Joey Franz. Minghags.com uh, is that's up, Joe Fr yeah. uh, Franz hit me up today. He's like, I just got a MySpace account. <laughs> Who, Franz? Yeah. yeah. Minghags yeah. for himself. For himself. I saw for Franz himself. reviewing a yeah. movie on I YouTube. I was like, wow. Batman. Batman? Why? Fra Franz reviewed a movie with these two, uh, my favorite movie reviewers, these two dudes from uh, Baltimore, I think, somewhere out there, this one real fat kid and this other dude on YouTube do a bunch of movies, I don't know their name, but Franz ended up in there somehow, really fucking strange, but he was hanging out at their house and shit. That's weird. Joe Check Franz 777. <laughs> that it? Yeah, hit him up. <laughs> F-R-A-N-T-Z. <laughs> what, what's uh, my boy been up to, Novak? He might stop by, I don't know. Ah, he, he was wondering if we were going to make it here because we were driving from Albany, which is like five-hour drive, but with the tour bus, it's more like seven, yeah. so we, we weren't sure if we were going to make it. So What did you listen to on it? You didn't have like... What do you mean? A CD player. No, we have a CD player. There was, was like one, two. Yeah. Oh, There's one okay. in the back. There. And we had an iPod hookup, too. Oh, uh, okay. But we, we can only play VHS tapes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got the cheap one. Yeah. Ah. We did get the cheap one because the refrigerator wouldn't work, and the freezer did work, but yeah. it worked as a refrigerator. <laughs> so yeah. did, you did you shit on that? Did you shit on that? No, we can't shit on that. But there is a lot of piss build up in there, and you're starting to smell it. Yeah. How do we empty that shit? I think you can shit, shit on It's not shit, it's piss! I think, you, I think you can shit on those. <laughs> <laughs> I empty the shitter. <laughs> It's starting to smell like the zoo. Did you say anyone shower in it? Shit on it. Yeah, Jared, the guy that we had with us. Hey, Hannah, uh, did you take a shit on it? You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah was too busy driving. Yeah, you Hannah was too busy <laughs> clogging the rest stop, dude. I swear to God, like, rest stops are made for, like, thousands of shits to be taken a day, and they have massive power flushers, and Hannah managed to clog one to, where, to the point where it overflowed, and I saw these, like, tan Timberland boots on the other side. <laughs> and, the, and the shit water started to flow on the boots, and the guy's like, "Man, come on!" <laughs> did, did you sit? Up, did you put anything down on the bowl? Or did you, you just sat on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hannah, that had to be the biggest shit ever. Hey, Hannah, how big are your turds? <laughs> I guess they're pretty big. Pretty massive. How much girth? Three inches. <laughs> At least. Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How long? Dude, that shit must have been like two feet long. <laughs> How many times? Maybe you just stacked it's it up with up. a bunch of toilet paper wipe. Uh, Ball wipe. Probably, probably both, dude. It was, it was Crayola time with gas. On that one. So... You know, you know how you wipe and it keeps wiping. You probably wiping. had three pieces of shit the size of Joe Franz's dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably more toilet paper that clogged, right? Yeah, it was both. 
did on tape. All right, hey, let's play this song, track three. Yeah. This is, uh, I actually got this back in 2000 in Japan, uh, a band called To Die For, and I haven't heard it in a while, so Ooh. we were listening to it on the uh, tour bus. That's why I want to play it. And then when we come back, maybe we could get some more bagger karaoke poison. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. here we go. This we'll see. We'll track see. three, yeah, we'll To Die out. For. They're from Finland. Bagger, what, what track are we playing? Track three. <laughs> What's the band? I don't know. To Die For. <laughs> to Die For. Radio Bagger Sears 28 Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm working on it. Hold on. Yeah. Looks like we're playing placebo because this thing ain't working. Yeah, man. Maybe we could get it ready for the uh, one up top. Yo, Pendar, we need a new. CD I don't know deck what the fuck's wrong with it. We always need a new CD deck. What is this? Track one. This is placebo <gasps> called Meds. What up, Jetty Bell? Yes. All right, we'll see you soon. Radio Band Fierce Twenty. Yeah, man. Faction, baby. Hi, guys. Now back to Radio Band. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah! Mark the Baggers here, Anthony, Fan of Bandana, Ding Ding Blues, yeah. Chad I Ginsburg, Missy, Shitbird, and Shit Goose. Hello, and Missy's mom. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Hey, hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, you might want to hide that dildo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to hide it. The reason that's out is because a few weeks ago, Novak was going to let someone put that in his butt for $15. I thought cool. it was 348 or something. Then he was going to jerk off to a porn and finish. Cool, James. <laughs> he, never, he never ended up doing that, though, did he? No, I kind of didn't want him to at the end. Because he, he was really going to do it. I thought he would not do it. It was only for 15 bucks. He needed the money so bad. Who was going to insert it? I, I, Mandy. Mandy was. Mandy was. If he shows up tonight, I have a bone to pick oh, with him. Oh, they started a fighting that one. night, and I got on video footage, too. What about Buddy <laughs> Bill's bone to pick? Oh, Buddy, I don't even want to talk to Buddy Bill. Oh. Someone else can pick my While bone. While we were in Bill. Barcelona, Spain, Buddy Bill knew that we were away. He came over to the house. Had a massive party in the hot tub, and all the doors were locked to the house. Thank so God. he went to the RV because he was going to hump some girl, and that was locked too. So he punches out the window of the RV to unlock the door, and then he he was so drunk he left all these beer bottles all over the place, Panties. outside and inside, underwear ruffled up the bed. Just the whole RV was trashed. And then to top it all off, not only did he piss in the toilet in the RV, he pissed in the shower too. A He's a, a disrespectful <laughs> piece of shit. Ooh, so yeah. then, the next time yeah. I saw him, I confronted him about it, and he was all amped up on something, had a, <laughs> like rage, and we got so mad that I was calling him out. He turned around and kicked my dahlias, which are these flowers I planted in my garden. I took care of them for months. They finally grew and bloomed beautifully, and he fucking broke them. Did you get them from terrain? Yeah, I got them from terrain. I mean, that's like a slap in the face. Then me and Hannah went to the I skate barn, and his dahlias. chick was eating out some other chick and then you got all mad because I didn't leave. Who would leave? I was just no, like sitting there watching. I wasn't I wasn't mad about that. I'm mad because <laughs> that fucking coke like I walk into that, that he and brings see over that? every week. I don't even know her name. She comes to our house for a year straight and I don't even know her name. But as soon as I go to bed she starts eating a girl out in front of my husband. Yeah I'm gonna get out of <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> did they get, did they, I, heard, I heard they got caught on surveillance coming in. They did. Yeah. Hey do we have every rose has thorn? Still waiting. Why don't, don't we take? Man? Want to take a phone call? Yeah, who we got on the line? Anybody? Just put anybody on. Oh yeah. Who gives a crap? Bagger, you want to take this call? Sure. Yeah, yeah do it. Yeah. Okay, go. Uh, hello, you're on Bam's radio show. <laughs> Sweet dude. All right. He's no good. Next. Hello. Yeah, go to. Yo. Yeah, oh yeah, fuck yeah, man. What's going on? What's going on? Oh man, just hit my cat. What? what? I'm in the cat. Oh, what happened? I broke my ankle. Doing what? Joking off. Next time I broke my ankle, man, and I hired a bodyguard just to protect me. What happened? Don't freaking protect nobody. But, oh, what, 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 what you did got, your you buddy get into a fight or you something? You gotta give us a topic here. Nobody yeah. knows what you're talking about. 
All right, see, this is what happened now. I wanted to see, you know, because I'm working down here in Sea Grace for a skate park, and, we, and I did it down with the government and all this crap. I think he's on painkillers. <laughs> yeah, I kind of am. All right, all right. All right, well, mm. let, let, me, let me get to the point, all right, man? Yeah. All right, so <laughs> right when I got to the downtown, and they told me we were going to get to the skate park, and I was like, you know, what if I try to talk to Dan and get him down here? So what was the point? Huh? All right, first, first I want to tell you, you know, hey, bam, I was wondering if, you know, if you want to come skate when we get the skate park done. Where at? In Sea Graves, Texas. Texas? That's pretty far. I haven't really skated in front of anybody in a while. I just kind of skate my park and stuff like that. I don't know. I just kind of got tired of, like, and he's kids got, and soccer moms always coming up and wanting to talk. And he's got a dog bite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Carrie's dog bit me. His pit bull bit me and put <laughs> right into the muscle of my right calf, like, uh, about an inch deep. And it's it happened a week ago, and it's still not right. <laughs> Man. And it's starting to get red. Maybe it's going to get infected. I already got a staph infection. It's that not, shit sucks. It's not going to turn gangrene. <laughs> when I got it? the dicks branded on my ass? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I wore the same pants because that, that's all I brought to Florida. So I rocked the same pants for 10 days straight. No. And, like, the pus started drying oh. and then reopening and then drying again. Oh, dude, that shit got so infected. Like what if they got to take your leg off? Did they wind up getting uh, poison yet? Look at this. Uh-oh. Jetty Bell's ho holding Bagger's hand. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh! Is his hands getting hot and sweaty? <laughs> Bagger, what, what, what we do don't want to have to go over the talk same about what's happening. Bagger, time. look at me. What happened? Bagger, 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 we were here. just talking about fucking Jess. speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you speechless? God, I don't know. Well, I need I need a date for my brother's wedding this Saturday. <gasps> well, maybe if you sing Poison, you could win her over. Mark, why didn't you call me and formally ask me? Yeah, we got it. Yo, he's busy. You're too busy for me. <laughs> you claim you're always the busy one, Mark. Your new, yeah, you only uh, call okay. me at three, Stardom. four o'clock in the morning just to say, "Where are ya?" <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and I say, "I'm in bed. Where else would I be?" And you're always out at the bars. Yep, that's right. You don't have time for me. Yes, I do. And then every time I call you back, you're out a minute, so you can't even talk on the phone. Yeah, singer, okay. sing her a song. <laughs> Bagger, sing, sing her a riff. Here we go. Uh, right. A really Here we go. good song. And really mean it. And yeah, it. sing it to her, Mark. <laughs> Here it comes, Bagger. Wait, stop. Do it over in English. Keep going, keep going. You're singing Bruce Springsteen? No. Every cowboy has his sound. Every cowboy sings a tad, tad, tad song. Just like every road. What was he speaking in the beginning? Turkish. <laughs> he speaking Turkish? <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Hungarian. Yeah. Japanese. Japanese. Yes. Yeah. 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 When did you learn Japanese? Uh, t t 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 10, 12 years ago? Uh-oh. Whoopsie. It's all right. Hello. On. It's all right. Keep going. We lost power. Hello. There we go. Did you ever get that CD working? Yep. I really want to hear it. We got it. Track three. Yeah, you got it. Let's play it. All right. To it. Die For. Kick it. We listen to it the whole way up and back. All right. To Die For. Rock and Roll Radio Band Series 28 Facts. Yeah, man. Oh no! We're good. Are we back? Yeah. Bagger? Yeah. Don't you have an autograph signing? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Saturday night, August 23rd at uh, Reeds and Bluebell. Um, from 7 to 9, they're going to have Girls Going Wild. All right. And then right. from, uh, I guess, <laughs> anytime after that, till about 10 30 or 11, I'm going to have an autograph signing. And then uh, from 10 30 to 2 in the morning, I'm going to introduce uh, one of my 18 bands called Split Decision. All right. They're awesome, man. What do you mean one of your 18 bands? Yeah. One of his 18, one of his 
AT cover, cover bands. bands. Uh, okay, favorite. Yeah. Who is it? All time uh, Split Decision's my favorite. What mm. song do they cover that you like their best? Um, they do. Oh, um, oh, um. Anyone? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I have a favorite. Like Rick Springfield. What, do they look like all Jesse's sexy on it. stage or something? Yeah, Jesse's that. girl. Yeah. Where they play that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you should make up your own lyrics. Sing about Jessica. That's right. That's what I'm gonna That's do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me get it. Yeah. Baggers girl. Baggers yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if we can get that one. What's going on? Oh, Jesse's girl. Yeah. yeah why not? Yeah, that was good. That's right. We can get that. We've got. I've done Jesse's everything for girl. you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna dedicate this to Jesse Rothenstein. Rothstein. <laughs> Rothstein? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. It was just like when you said you're, you were cousins with Ben Roethlisberger from okay, the Steelers. Okay, close your last enough. Name is Roethlisberger. <laughs> close enough, dude. First, second, third cousin, whatever. <laughs> Remember when he said he wanted to marry Jess Margera and we were like, no, you mean Jess Rothstein. <laughs> Ew, you Jess want to marry Margera my brother? What's wrong with you? I'm <laughs> marrying you. Uh, He's already taken. <laughs> right. You know this one. Yep. Get into it. Jess is good friend. Jess <laughs> has been a good friend of mine. Yeah. Jess has been a big thing. has been a third bit of fun. She's a good girl and I want to make her mine. She's just a little girl. Jess is a Look at Jess while you're singing it. I know it. This is a big thing. This is a big thing. Nice. No, I wish I had Jesse's girl. Did it, did it. Wish I had Jesse's girl. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Don't let her find a woman like that, like Jesse's girl. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 8 o'clock. Can we end this with track one? Can we go overtime? We start late. Well, I'm going to play a song, but we got to go. All songs that I really like tonight. Yeah? Well, this is going to be Akalon Trio. You like them. Time to waste. You pick me up from school. <laughs> track one. Track one. <laughs> no, Novak. Yay! 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 All right, we're going to You have any messages for Novak Rock's before we go? Novak. Hey, Novak, I hear you just got it for your uh, Jay Gout. J J gay jail cell. <laughs> I hear you and Papa got it on together. In the gay jail jail cell. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. This is Alkaline Trio. Time to waste. Radio Band Suits 20th Faction. Late. Uh, yeah. That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Later.